Biden is telling him, don't leave. She likes the power, and, it's, and he's, he's told them F off. In fact, now he's not even following Obama's orders. Do you think so? Oh, think no. Jill? I mean, like, like oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Jill's in charge. <laughs> Jill's in charge because he didn't know who he is. I mean, she literally, remember he walked out of the White House and said, my butt's been wiped. <laughs> I was told by the NYPD and Secret Service a year and a half ago when he went, remember he kept showing up late and changing clothes like three times? Mm -hmm. That when he gets mad, when he goes in these weird because they get him on speed and a bunch of stuff to roll him out and hope it's okay and it's not now. But when he gets mad, he, he takes a big dump in his drawers. I, I'm serious, okay? You've got him saying my butt's been wiped. My butt's been wiped. My butt's been wiped. My butt's been wiped. Time and time again in the Bible, whether it was the golden calf in the wilderness, the high places of Baal, or the Asherah poles scattered across Israel. The Israelites, though chosen by God, constantly struggled with the temptation to elevate something or someone above the Almighty. The devil knows that human beings have a proclivity to create idols, and he exploits this weakness to divert our hearts from God. In today's world, we may not worship stone statues or wooden poles, but idolatry is still very much alive. It has taken new forms, wealth, fame, technology, and yes, politics. If I were the devil, if I were the devil, if I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness, and I'd have a third of its real estate and four-fifths of its population, but I wouldn't be happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree, the... So I'd set about, however necessary, to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers. With the wisdom of a serpent, I would whisper to you as I whispered to Eve, do as you please. To the young, I would whisper that the Bible is a myth. I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. I would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is square. And the old, I would teach to pray after me, our Father, which art in Washington. And then I'd get organized. I'd educate authors in how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves, until each in its turn was consumed. And with promises of higher ratings, I'd have mesmerizing media fanning the flames. If I were the devil, I would encourage schools to refine young intellects, but neglect to discipline emotions, just let those run wild. Until before you knew it, You'd have to have drug-sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every school.